Hello everyone. My name is Aditi Anand and I'm a first year BSc student in Ferguson College and I'm going to talk about homelessness and how it can be solved using the fourth dimensional geometry. Every year there are almost thousands of people becoming homeless either due to poverty or unemployment or because of losing their jobs or due to many such more reasons according to an estimation made by the organization namely habitat for humanity around 150 million people are homeless worldwide which is really a serious issue to be considered and that's the reason why i chose this topic there are several ways by which homelessness can be ended and one of them is by providing shelters for the homeless people but providing so many shelters to such a huge population is definitely not an easy task one way to make it easy is by using fourth dimensional geometry in 3d space and we can visualize that by comparing it with the situation where a 3d object is visualized in a 2d space for example if we consider a white sheet and suppose it has a 2d space and we take a 3d spherical ball and if we want to visualize the ball in the provided 2d space which is the white sheet here it can be done in such a way that the ball penetrates the sheet because if the ball is outside the paper it is not visible in the provided 2d space of the paper the area which the ball occupies in the 2d space first increases till it occupies the maximum area and then again decreases and at last vanishes when passes out from the paper so the ball will occupy the maximum area when it penetrates into the paper till it is in the form of a hemisphere from the top and bottom side of the paper as shown so that it exists in the 2d space in this form similarly when we consider a fourth dimensional ball in our 3d space where we live contrasting it to the situation of 2d objects in 3d space the size of the fourth dimensional ball will first increase up to a certain a maximum volume and then decrease and at last vanishes the volume of a fourth dimensional sphere in 3d space is 2 pi square into r cube where r is the radius of the sphere whereas the volume of a three dimensional sphere in 3d space is 4 by 3 pi r cube where r is again the radius of the sphere now coming to the fourth dimensional cube known as tesseract a tesseract can be considered as a fourth dimensional analog of a cube like how the cube exists in the 3d space in the same way tesseract exists in the 4d space the tesseract can be unfolded into eight cubes in the 3d space in the same way as the cube can be unfolded into six squares in the 2d space to understand what the tesseract actually is we need to understand the projection of the fourth dimension into the 2d space this is because our retina can form only 2d images of the objects we see in the world and we actually cannot observe depth through our eyes tesseract can be projected into the two dimensional a space in the following way a point can be considered in a zero dimension and when we take two different points and join them the line which is formed is considered to be in the first dimension and when two lines are taken parallelly and join the square which is formed is in the second dimension similarly when two squares are arranged parallelly and join the cube which is formed exists in the third dimension in a similar way a tesseract can be obtained when two cubes are arranged parallelly and joined and hence the tesseract which is obtained exists in the fourth dimension volume of a tesseract in the 3d space is l to the power 4 where l is the length whereas the volume of a cube in the 3d space is l cube where l is the length of the cube which is obviously less than that of a tesseract so the volume of the objects which follow 4d geometry can be greater than the objects following 3d geometry and this is possibly true as we saw in the case of the sphere and now the tesseract that's the reason why the houses having fourth dimensional geometry can help in accommodation of the homeless people the tesseract house which follows the fourth dimensional geometry is made in such a way that the house follows the shape of a tesseract in few parts 
the advantage of this tesseract house is that it can accommodate more people and help them get more facilities without occupying too much space in our 3d world which can also serve to the conservation of the nature so accommodating people in the houses which follow fourth dimensional geometry can help reducing the homelessness in this way homelessness can be reduced using the fourth dimensional geometry in our 3d space Thank you.